Hey everybody, this is Chris from the Mitten Outdoors. I'm about ready to enter a first uh, kayak tournament this uh, weekend at uh, Kent Lake. Um, I'm going to be doing the Cats Midwest uh, series this year. So figured I'd uh, give you guys a quick overview of the boat and show you what equipment I'm using, how I have things set up, and go from there. So the boat I'm using is a Wilderness Systems Ride 115X um, and it has the Air Pro Max seat. Real comfortable seat, has that meshy uh, lawn furniture type of material to sit on. It's got a few adjustments, got some lumbar support, front and back so you can lay down if you'd like. I don't ever really lay down when I'm fishing, but <laughs> if you want to, if you're paddling down a river or something, you could. Um, the seat does come up, has a couple different seating positions. You just kind of lift up. So now you're in a higher seating position. I particularly like it in the low position. It's a little more comfortable for me. So that's where it stays most of the time. Paddle I'm using is a Werner Camino. I think they call that catch line drift in the collar. Thought it was kind of neat. I do have a camera mount up front. It's a Scotty camera mount. I usually run my GoPro there for my front GoPro. I do have one rod holder. That's a Scotty uh, rod holder as well. Fish finder I currently have is the Lowrance Elite 3X DSI. And I also wired in a USB port so you can charge your GoPro or your cell phone or whatever you need to. It's also hooked up to the battery that runs the fish finder. Paddle leash is on the market. I didn't really like, so I made my own. I made that out of paracord. I do have it clipped in the center here. Moving towards the back, which is the hog trough. And I did line it with Sharpie marker. I used the paddle clip to keep it in place so I can quickly access it. Hook on there, holds it in place. For the hog trough, um, I did add a pull noodle, a couple stickers. So I went with the vertical rod holders that are recessed into the kayak instead of the ones that are angled. Um, mainly because you know, if you look at the rod holders that are on the black pack there, they're all vertical as well. So I figured I'd keep it consistent. Using the Ram tube rocket launcher for my Busy Carbon. Moving over to this side. Another Ram tube rocket launcher for my net. The net is a Bass Pro, quick deploy. This net is really cheap, guys. I think it was like 20 bucks. And it is that rubber coated, rubber coated type of material, so it's a little better on the fish's scales and everything. My parking pole. I went with the six foot version. I never really seemed to need eight foot of water, um, so I went with the six foot. There's another uh, 
There's another camera mount here. And I'm using the Amazon model GoPro style camera 4K. They seem to do the job. And again, along with the DIY stuff, I have another attachment point there. And I made another lanyard out of paracord. For the fish grips. We do have an anchor trolley, another DIY version. And that is a large ascending ring, climbing ascending ring that I used for the mounting point. Over here I have some essentials that I use throughout the day in a bag. And if you notice guys, everything is tethered down. I flipped before and lost a lot of gear, so that is never going to happen again. If I can help it, I'm going to save as much as I can. Uh, hemostats, I got some Dr. Slick. I think they're 10 inch versions, I'm not 100% sure. Some Scott uh, shop wipes. Some Copoly, 12 pound. Extra 30 pound Suffix 832. This is my favorite braid. This is what I like using. I've had the best luck with it. 30 pound. Uh, some 65 pound Suffix 832. JJ's Magic. I always need some of that. A couple different spools of fluorocarbon leaders, 15 pound and 8 pound. That's what I use the most. And I got these little keepers off of some fish fly leader tippet material. And all you do is just pull, pull on the tag in there and take off what you need and it doesn't unspool on you. I really like doing that. Liquid Mayhem Garlic Scent. I really like using this on any of the rib baits like um, structure bug or like a tube jig or something like that. Really stays put. Wacky rig tool. Some color markers, garlic scented as well. Here's my anchor setup. I'm using a dive reel, holds about 75 foot of paracord and a chine anchor. The dive reel keeps the paracord nice and neat so it doesn't get all tangled up in the boat. That part attaches. To that stationary ring. And if any of you guys have the Ride 115 or the X or any of the Ride Series kayaks. What I notice when you're running the black pack, it doesn't really sit, it doesn't sit level to the rest of the boat. It, has, it dips down in the front, so your your rods angle forward. So what I did is just I just put a piece of pull noodle down there, and that helps that. As far as what I carry, I like using the Flambeau uh, water type tackle boxes. They seem to work well for me. This is all my terminal tackle. I like this smaller 30, 3400 size, or actually it's a 3500 size uh, box over the big 30, uh, 3700 like a Bass Mafia or something. It, it really, I'm able to carry everything I need in a day. It's Carolina rig, weights, treble hooks, shaky heads. Tube jig weights, 
hopper stoppers, flipping hooks, Ned rig stuff, wacky rig, titanium punching weights, swim baits, hooks, offset round bed hooks, typical stuff you would carry in a day. Like I said, everything fits in here. It takes a little bit longer to fish stuff out, but I'm fine with that. Spinner bait box. Top water. Got all my frogs. Scoop baits, poppers, whopper ploppers, and I do carry some of my I do carry some of my hard swim baits in this one. This is my jig and chatter bait box. All the colors for really any water you'd need. Jerk bait box. Deep divers, small ones, hinged. I do have a spy bait in there. I use that every once in a while. Crank baits. Deep divers. DT10s. Some of the basics. That's pretty much it for hard baits. I do keep my fishing license in there. And I also carry one in my wallet. In case I ever forget, I have a copy in on me at all times. As far as soft plastics go, flipping stuff, file cries, devil spears. Swim baits, crows and creature baits, structure bugs, sugar quads, pack of chunk trailers. Let's see what else I have in here. I run, run the missile bait, debounds a lot. I like. These are interesting. I've seen these on the webs, and I figured I'd try them this year for maybe doing some bed fishing or something. Bombshell turtles. Then all the worms I would need. And most of my colors, I pretty much fish three colors green pumpkin, June bug, and like an Alabama cross style color. So all my rods are blackout, number eight tackle blackout. I got them on clearance sale at Tackle Warehouse. I think they were like $55 a piece for each one of them, except for my spinnerbait, uh, chatterbait rod there, the medium, medium power, fast action. That is the Ike series rod. Spinning reels are a 30 size Creed GT. I think I have 10 pound spider wire on them. I need to switch that out to the 832 suffix though. I, I have had a lot of break offs with that line. Crankbait rod, moderate action. I'm running 12 pound fluorocarbon on that. That's the Reba Wench. My jig rod, seven foot three, medium heavy. Mm, let's see, this is a seven to one. It's Revo SX, seven to one gear ratio. Carolina rig rod, Revo STX. That's also in a seven to one. It's 
Spinnerbait Chatterbait Rods, also a Revo STX, and this is in the 6 4 to 1 gear ratio. Another spinning reel, this is also a Creed GT in a 3000 series. And this is the medium light. My other one is a medium action. And the broomstick, of course we all need a flipping stick. This also has a Revo STX and this is an 8 to 1 gear ratio. So that's the boat. That's what I'm going to run with for 2017 tournament series. If you guys like the video, make sure you like down below. Give us a thumbs up. Talk to you soon. Thanks.